Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and today I want to talk about some Season 5 speculation. I've seen a lot of videos coming out that have been like super overhyping a lot of things that could or could not be coming in Season 5. And tell you what the grain of salt, but they're really portraying this stuff as like in stone, it's coming, Season 5. And I think that that only hurts the player base and 343 because you have these unreal expectations for things that aren't going to come. And then people are going to be like, Bleh! and then it's just... A huge issue. So I just basically want to kind of clear up some things, um, you know, what I think is and isn't coming because I definitely think there's a hard line in what isn't coming. Now other things are subject to change, obviously, as 343 seats fit. We've seen them kind of adjust their roadmap internally in terms of like what looks like is ready to go and what is being pushed back. That being said, I just want to say thank you for all the support recently. You guys have absolutely killed it. We're grinding away to 15,000 subs. We just hit 12K. I know 96% of you who watch the videos aren't subbed to the channel. And if like just a couple of you subbed, I mean, we could hit 15K by the end of next month. So if you like Halo content and you like somebody that's not gonna BS you, this is the channel for you. So we're gonna talk about like maps and modes and you know, new weapons, new vehicles and all types of fun stuff. So first off, I just want to say that there are two maps that we are pretty confident that are going to get released. One is Prism, which looks to be like a Needler Cave aesthetic. It looks sick. It's like purple and stuff. It has like giant crystals for the, the Needler ammo. I absolutely love it. And that's going to be a 4v4 map. And then we have Forbidden, which looks like the temple map that just came out in this season. Only it's going to be for BTB. And honestly, I love that aesthetic as well. It really gives me Star Wars vibes, like some Yavin 4 giant temple stuff. I think both look amazing. I'm very excited that we're getting those maps. Along with that, we're getting what looks to be two forged canvases, Permafrost and Barrage. Barrage kind of gives me Desert Wasteland vibes, while Permafrost is a snowy type of environment. And honestly, I love snow maps so much so i'm happy that's being added now will those be the only two maps we get i don't know because 343 has really been over delivering i feel like with surprises and maps and stuff like that so i guess we're gonna see now for the next new weapon it seems like it will be the mutilator it's a mix between a shotgun and a gravity hammer as of right now and it's a banished weapon and it looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun especially if they keep some of the souped up gravity physics effects that being said there's been no real confirmation date. There's like lack of model textures and things like that. So I don't think it's ready. I do not think the Mutilator is going to come next season. That's just my opinion. It's informed and I guess using critical thinking skills. I just don't think that it's coming out. And that's one of the things that I've seen a lot of other channels say is going to come out. So would I like to be proven wrong? As with all this stuff, of course, I would love to get even more content. But I just don't think that it's good to kind of get people's hopes up. Another one is the Falcon, which is a vehicle that's been worked on for quite some time. And I thought that maybe it would coincide with a firefight release because that would be sick. But personally, I don't think we're going to see it in Season 5. So I'm sorry if that pops some bubbles. I just don't think that it is ready. And speaking of firefight, it's long been theorized and leaked that Season 5 is the potential release for this game mode. And if you've been watching this channel, then you know that I think that there has to be some more replayability in PvE in this game. I think that a portion of the player base has been left out for far too long, and I honestly think that there would be a nice little bump in numbers with the addition of this mode, but we will see if it's Season 5 or Season, season 6. A lot of people have been saying Season 5 just recently. Somebody said, well, they feel like maybe it's being pushed to Season 6, and that would kind of stink in my opinion. I would love to have this game mode in the game as soon as possible, but again, take it with a grain of salt. So going into new game modes, we know that VIP and Extraction have been worked on for quite some time, and I think that we would see at least one of them, and my money would be on Extraction over VIP, especially if it's kind of like a firefight kind of season, but I've heard that VIP has been pushed back a season, and that Extraction is definitely going to be the one that we're going to see, so fingers crossed, you know, maybe we get both, but... Uh, again, I would put my money on Extraction. Another update is it seems that the Crosscore Dream is not dead yet. It seems like 343 is also working on helmet attachments. No, not just helmets, but the attachments for those helmets in general. This is definitely unconfirmed for Season 5, but I mean, I would love to see just helmet Crosscore functionality as a whole, but, you know, slowly but surely we're getting there now obviously this doesn't cover things that are like a given like a battle pass and new coatings and you know new 
I don't know, just random stuff in the emblems, things like that. Obviously, that's stuff we're going to get. No, there's not going to be any campaign DLC or an expansion or anything like that. But again, I'm just trying to make sure that people aren't expecting stuff that might not come and then they get disappointed. Because I also feel like it's kind of facetious to say all this and then have people tell like friends and stuff, oh my god, you gotta hop in Halo Infinite next season, there's gonna be like all these things, blah blah blah, and then none of it comes, and it just kind of makes 343 look bad, and I feel like it kind of loses uh, like those content creators' credibility, um, and that's, I mean, I'm sure they don't care, because people will probably forget within a day anyways, and they just want some clicks and views and stuff like that, so it is what it is, I understand the game, but that's gonna do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed, leave a like down below, it's, it, greatly helps the channel out and in getting into the algorithm and i would greatly appreciate it because we're kind of going up against all these season five hype videos right now that i feel like are kind of spreading misinformation so it's hard to bust into that <laughs> algorithm so a like would help a sub would help if you're still here and made it through the entire video I'm going to ask that you go down to, into the comments and uh, go ahead and put high charity as the uh, comment of the video. I appreciate all of you. I read all the comments, so if you leave something else, I'm definitely reading it. And I will catch you all in the next one. Peace!